Hello, welcome to my channel. I am Ameya, and today we are going to see the next video in our SolidWorks VBA series, where we are trying to get data uh, from SolidWorks into the Excel. So in this video, what we are going to do is we are going to get the file type of the active document or the open document in SolidWorks, whether it's a part file, assembly file, or the drawing file. Okay, so I have created one Excel file. Okay, so this will read the document in C3 cell. We will try to get the text as the part file, assembly file, or uh, drawing file. I have created one button to get file type, and I will be doing macro for that specific thing. So going to the Visual Basic part, we will initiate uh, everything with the SolidWorks. So we need few variables here. So I will create few variables. Uh, SolidWorks app as SLD works dot SLD works. So this I, I have in detail discussed in previous videos. So if you have missed my previous videos, please go and check my playlist. I will attach it in my description so yeah so i need another document sw doc as sld works dot uh, model doc 2 we will use then uh, we will be needing one variable as boolean boolean status and as boolean this will be enough uh, as of now. We will open the main, sub main, open bracket, close bracket, and sub will come automatically. Then we will set the application that is set SW app is equal to create object, open bracket, close bracket double semi quotes and you will use sld works dot application so this will open the solidworks application if it is not open then it will check for check sw app for the visibility so if it is visible or not that will be true and then we will set another variable that is sw model and we will get sw app dot as the active document okay and then we will create a loop uh, if loop with the case uh, switch case in which we will try to read a uh, file type so what i will do is i will create if not sw model is nothing then select case SW model and we will be using get type function which is available on uh, SolidWorks so yeah so then uh, I will make the cases so I will make first case as SW document part in this we will be needing a uh, string text is equal to uh, what I wanted to print if it's a part so I will print it as a part model okay then I will take this text to the range uh, range uh, I will identify range in my excel file it's c3 where I wanted to print that so I will get it in C3. I want to 
put a value there is equal to I want to get the str text which we have called in the previous line okay so this will give me the part model uh, let's check whether this is working or not uh, so I will use and select Uh, then else because I'm using if loop you need to have the else else uh, I will have the message box in message box I will print if nothing is there then uh, there will be no document open Right, so it will give the message pop up that no document is open. Please open the document. Right, uh, then uh, I will end this if. Right, end sub is already there. So let us try to compile this. Yeah, it will give me the error. Uh, yeah, it's not active document. It's SWT active document. Spelling mistake. Save this and then run. Uh, yeah, argument not optional. So set yeah SW model we need. That was the mistake. Okay. Yeah, wrong function called. Yeah, now it's working. So no document is open right now. So what I will do is I will create and will open one part. Let's see, I have this part open now. And uh, if I go to my Excel file, yeah, once the part is open, I will go to Excel file and I will try to get the file type and it will print part model so what if it's the assembly so quickly we will make changes for the assembly i will take this case copy it in between uh, maybe two times one for the part model one for the drawing one for the assembly so second i will change it with sw doc assembly It will print as the assembly model and if it's a drawing it will take sw dot drawing and it will print a drawing file okay so all will get printed into c3 i will save this let's open one assembly maybe i have few assemblies in my references just a second huh? get a new document advanced not, not new document i'll open a document yeah, i can open from the recent files also this is one of the assembly which i have so yeah so once this assembly is open yeah i can go to file 
so i will close the part okay so if my document active document is assembly then it should read the assembly so if i go for get file type it will give me the assembly model similarly it will work for the drawing model now to just to give you an idea where i will get all these properties uh, you will get these in so sw model get type okay so these all things are listed into the get type function uh, you can have a look at a document which is defined as uh, what kind of document types you will get so if you click there you can read uh, assembly you can read drawing you can read layouts parts and sdf so these functions are already available on uh, resort systems api help so i have taken that as the reference so yeah so you can always use these references and get uh, your things done so whatever you need uh, for your specific requirement so that's all for this video in coming videos we will be uh, discussing about how to change material from excel and get the mass properties okay so idea of uh, having this uh, playlist as the uh, using excel uh, to get the data from the solidworks open solidworks document uh maybe uh, type maybe uh, various properties you can take it into the excel so that's the idea uh if you like this content do subscribe my channel like my channel share a word about channel and happy learning thank you for joining